Mr Chair, thank you for again being here. Let's tidy up some loose ends and we've got a fresh set of questions coming in May. I asked at the previous estimates whether CASA was aware of all the incidents in relation to Qantas on a list that I circulated. Ms Spence told me that these were all ones that CASA was aware of, yet in the answer to a question on notice, SQ 23003791, CASA clarified it actually wasn't aware of five of the provided incidents. Can you clarify whether those events were then self-reported or CASA had to make inquiries to Qantas to initiate these, those reports? Sorry, Senator, I don't think that was at the last hearings. Was it at the hearing before that you raised those, those issues? Um, it was uh, October, November it wasn't 2023. At last it wasn't at our last hearings, I don't That's think, That's what Senator. I've got the date okay. on the Hansard reference written. I'll, anyway. I'll have to take, sorry, I'll have to take that on notice, Senator. I don't have the information in front of me, so apologies. So what the answer, presumably from CASA, says that four of the five incidents, they say in brackets afterwards, this event has now been reported. So at the time it wasn't. Yep. Sorry, sir, I genuinely don't have that document in front of me, so I, I I'm can't. I'm telling you what the document I, and says. I know, and it's very difficult for me not having it in front of me, being able to explain what Would you what like to make a copy was. of this? Sorry, I'm, I'm just looking for it as well. I'm, I, know the, I know the document you're talking about, but I genuinely thought, I thought it was... I thought it was a bit further back. Yeah. A bit further back. And my recollection, Senator, was you raised a list, we said, we thought most of them would have been covered, and then when we when went through them, we took it. The reason we took it on notice was to test which ones we were aware of and which ones we weren't. So, and the Ms. ones Spence, that were. Uh, I, I'll remind you that I asked you if you'd seen these incidents on the document. Without looking at the document, you said no. These are not on the document. I doubt and, very and much. Then I said, would you please look at the document before answering? How can you have any credibility with me? Obviously, I don't, Senator. No, you don't. You don't have a lot of credibility with many pilots either. Thanks, Senator. I'm sorry, Senator, I just genuinely don't. I'll, I'll take on notice what it means when we say this event has now been reported. What I want to do is refer to, you also told me that the frequency of incidents on the list that I gave you before you'd seen it was not out of the ordinary. If some of the incidents weren't reported to you, then it's hard for you to say that there isn't an increase in frequency, correct? Correct, Senator. Thank you. If you look at the last one there, the October 2022 Perth, Sydney incident remained unreported. What is the status of your investigations on this incident? We don't investigate, Senator. The ATSB investigates. So you didn't chase it up with Qantas? I, as I said, I take on notice what it means to say what it means when this event has now been reported and what we did. But at the end of the day, we do not do accident investigations or incident investigations. So, so perhaps, Senator, if I could... So I'm going to ask the questions here. That might be the question you'd like me to ask. No, I'd Senator. like to know, are you... Have you inquired about that incident? And Senator, I just said I'd take that on notice. I don't know. OK, Thanks. let's move on. Do you believe that senior leadership of the agency that is meant to be regulating aviation, that's your agency, having access to the exclusive Qantas Chairman's Lounge and Virgin Beyond Lounge creates a conflict of interest? No, Senator. You don't? Not even a potential perceived conflict of interest? No, Senator. In May 2022, Senate, Senate estimates, your evidence, Ms Spence, was that all gifts and benefits were listed on your website under the Gifts and Benefits Register. That wasn't true, was it? Um, I, I thought that they all, were, they all were on the list, Senator. I haven't deliberately misled the committee. If something wasn't included, I apologise, but everything is, on the, is certainly on the register now. Now? And has so been if, you for put some it on time. The, if you put it on the register, that means you think it was a gift. But no, you told me it wasn't there, a gift. No, we, we were pretty clear in our written response that those, those memberships predated people joining CASA. So we, we clarified that. that. I'll get to uh, that. But that's that's, that's yeah. clarified in your opinion. It doesn't clarify it so far as the Public Service Association is concerned. So senior members of the aviation regulator 
had been given access to exclusive airline clubs that aren't available to the public, and this was kept a secret from Australia, yet you maintain that this doesn't create even a potential conflict of interest. Senator, I don't, I, I don't accept the premise that it was kept a secret. OK, we'll get to that one too. This explanation from the Australian Public Service Commission is very important. I quote, public confidence in the Australian public service agencies and the Australian public service more broadly can be damaged when gifts and benefits that create a conflict of interest are accepted or not properly declared. The appearance of a conflict can be just as damaging to public confidence in public administration as a conflict which gives rise to a concern based on objective facts. End of quote. Having gifted access to exclusive aviation lounges is obviously a conflict of interest when you are the aviation regulator, the aviation regulator. Well, regardless no, Senator, of whether, the the benefit, regardless of whether the benefit predates the official employment, and this was not declared. I'm, I'm, I genuinely don't recall us not being on the, the register of me having um, Chairman's Lounge and Virgin Beyond Lounge membership. I genuinely, th I certainly was when I was in the department when I first received those um, invitations to join those. It's, it's always been something that I've declared in any of my um, potential conflict of interest, notwithstanding I genuinely don't believe it creates a conflict of interest. Let me continue. It's very concerning to me that you tried to tell this committee that all benefits were declared on the gift register at a time they clearly were not. You made no mention of the fact that you'd updated the register with these gifts. You had updated the register with this. Senator, we, we just, were, we were, Mr. Marger, I'm we, we, trying to just, talk. Just, just. You just quietly updated the web page and tried to act like they had been there properly the entire time, and that's not the case, is it? The gifts weren't on the register at the time you gave evidence to this committee that they were. Uh, Senator, I have to take it on notice. I genuinely don't recall when. When the, I, I genuinely thought that they were always on the register. If they weren't, they're certainly on there now, and it's never been a secret. That, that I've had those um, uh, lounge memberships. Well, it seems, Ms. Ms. Spence, that it, it, it's contemptuous of this committee for you to try and just quietly update this information in the secretive manager, manner that you have. Why not alert the committee that the previous evidence was incorrect and issue a clarification, which is what most honest public servants do? So, as we said in our response to your question, nothing was declared on the CASA gift and benefits register as no lounge access had actually been provided to CASA executives or board members as a result of their role in CASA. That is a furphy, Ms Spence. It's not they a furphy, Senator. You, you make out that they had them before they joined CASA. They did. I did. They still have them. Yes. They still have them. Yes. They weren't um, declared. And then when you updated it to declare them, you didn't advise the committee. You just did it quietly. Um, genuinely sorry that you feel that I've misled the, the committee. It's not my feelings that matter. Well, it's I'm generally, I apologise to the committee unreservedly, but it was never any intention to mislead. And as I said, the, the issue, as far as I can understand, as I can recall, because that we are, the, you list things as they are provided to you because they already were in the possession of um, myself and some of our board members, prior to them actually being on the board, they didn't originally. They must not have originally got listed, and now they are on there. And I'm, yeah, I have nothing else that if, I can say. Assist, so, last so, question. If, sorry, if it does this, Okay, thanks. Senator. It brings much of your evidence that you've given to this committee, Ms. Spence, into question. If this is how you deal with answers that you later find are incorrect, we wouldn't even know this unless someone had trawled back through the internet archives. <clears throat> you've apologised. Is there anything else you need to apologise for in our exchanges? No, Senator. I don't see you as a credible, credible <coughs> witness with your evidence, Ms Spence. What I might do, Senator Roberts, I think, uh, due to the hour, I, I kept saying all day that we have got a, you know, the report to behave... Oh, well, well, I can't even think of the bloody report. You know what it is anyway. And I just think, Senator Roberts, you have made your point. Uh, Ms Spence, it's sloppy. Yep. Let's get over it. The behaviour of politicians in this building in the last few years is pretty questionable too, but anyway. Senator Roberts, do you have any... Oh, I'm uh, finished my questions. Okay. Thank you, Thank Chair. You. Senator, Senator Thank McKenzie. You. Yes, I do have some quick questions for CASA. Um, we had some evidence from Air Services Australia this afternoon about um, chronic anxiety about mm -hmm. safety. 
Um, I think there's chronic anxiety about the performance of Air Services Australia, frankly. But have you or your organisation ever expressed concerns regarding the safety or the management of airspace, particularly in the last few years? It's certainly an issue that we're monitoring very closely, as the CEO of Air Services indicated. Um, from our perspective, the, the safety issue is addressed by the impact on the efficiency of the airspace. So you can limit the number of aircraft, aircraft that are operating in airspace, and that therefore means you don't have a safety issue, but you certainly have an efficiency issue. So you haven't expressed concern about the way the airspace is managed? We've expressed concern about the way in which air services is able to is, is relying on contingency arrangements to manage airspace, but I wouldn't say that is a safety issue. It's the impact on the system that's concerning. You're the regulator for air traffic controllers. How many air traffic controllers do you currently licence? Uh, I'd have to take on notice the exact number. Sorry, Senator. What role do you play in the ongoing monitoring of safety regarding air traffic control? So, Senator, we um, undertake surveillance activities on air services. We issue safety findings. How regularly? Sorry? Sorry um, we just really push for time. Yeah, I, so I have we've to... We've got a lot of agencies and I have had a series of questions, so I don't have... I just need the answer. Yeah. Every month we'd look at a different unit. Okay, great. And you um, randomly pick units or is there a program? It's a, it's a mix of the two. Given the latest cultural report on ASA, are you confident that air traffic controllers are reporting either mental or physical illness? Senator, I, I couldn't comment on, on that, I'm afraid. I, I don't have a, a view on, on that. So you licence them, you monitor them, but you don't have a view on their mental their, well, well, their capacity. Have you, have you seen the reports? Yes, yes, I right. have, Senator. What's Cass's view of the reports, the appalling reports, well, can I say? Obviously, we, we are concerned about the ability for air services to... Um, address sort of some of the, the issues that we see around un, unscheduled absences and the, the challenges they've got around having staff in place, um, to, which is, and not having staff there means that they haven't been able to deliver the services to the regulatory standards. Um, but in terms of... So what of do you do, Ms Spence, then? Everything you're saying is true. Today we've shut down half the country because two people didn't come into work at Sydney. There's contingency arrangements that yep. ASA has in place that our own airlines won't use, which means it's null and void to actually deal with the issue. You've got aircraft communicating into airspace rather than through air traffic controllers, uh, and they're not prepared to do that. So what does CASA do so when, other than express concern? So whenever, whenever air services need to um, put a TBA in place. We restrict the airspace so that anyone who wants to enter into the airspace. So we maintain How do safe. We change it, Miss Spence. Well, that's the, 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 what we're working with air services on is their. We're monitoring and um, working with them on their sort of their get well plan, which will ensure they get the right number of staff in to so, be able to so meet can their I services. Just, in the interest of time, do you have any control over? or influence on Air Services Australia? Yes, we do, Senator. And how are you using that, given the appalling reports of their service delivery? We what have are, you done in the last three years? Well, as I said, we've, we've done surveillance. We've identified issues that they need to address, and we work through them as they address right. those, those findings. So on notice, I would like to know the number of issues you formally yep. addressed with Air Services Australia, yep. what the actual issue was, what is the outcome, Yep. right? Because there's a lot of vagaries, but I want some actual 
practical um, examples. Yes, Thank Senator. you so much. That's it for CASA. Thank you, Senator McKenzie.